The Lightfall DLC for Destiny 2 finally introduced our first ever fully craftable 120 hand cannon called the Round Robin. Visually, it's an overhauled loud lullaby with all the trinkets stripped off of it and painted cyber retro, but under the hood, it's an entirely different beast and brings a lot of new things to the table that are going to completely change the game for hand cannon users. The perk pool on this thing is absolutely juiced, and I can't wait to fully craft mine, and I'll definitely tell you by the end of the video how I'm going to craft it. But in the meantime, there are a couple of different roles you'll be seeing in the gameplay, and I'll break those down too. But first, it's probably important to let you know where to get these to drop. There are several sources. One is just the basic mission from Nimbus at the end of the campaign, where they essentially make you run around doing public events and activities on Neomuna to get you used to the environment and the activities that it offers. I think it's like the third step that gives you a guaranteed red border round robin, and that's your first easy drop of it. Otherwise, they can drop at the end of Legendary Patrols, so make sure that you're looking around the map for those gold patrol icons. You should do those every time you see them. They're over in like three minutes tops, and they always drop Neomuna weapons, or at least they have for me each time. And I've had several red borders drop that way. And you can also get them to drop from Nimbus rank up engrams, especially once you max out your rank like I did, and then you only get Neomuna weapons to drop from those. It's so nice. I'm sure there are other sources for round robin drops like daily missions and pinnacle activities there in Neomuna, so just go there and do stuff. Okay, enough about that, let's talk about the gun. In the gameplay, I've got lots of kill streaks, some we ran, some 30 to 40 kill games with this thing. I mean, it was fun. And it really started putting in some serious work for me there in PvP. I fell in love with it. The base stats, it's a little bit better than the Loud Lullaby in almost every category. Small step up, 56 range, 20 stability, 24 handling, 22 reload, 58 aim assist, 14 zoom, almost perfectly vertical recoil at 97. It's not remarkable in base stats, just decent. I mean, the Igneous Hammer is still the untouchable king of 120s in base stats alone, but it's the perks that really separates the round robin from everything else. Also, the fact that it's fully craftable and is a strand weapon, so it goes in the kinetic slot, unlike the Igneous. In the first main perk column, you've got Under Pressure, which isn't bad at all for an eight round magazine weapon. Next, you've got Killing Wind. Most of the gameplay in the background is with Killing Wind, and I absolutely adore this perk. I'm mapping people from ludicrous ranges hitting full damage with the Killing Wind perk up. Plus, the added mobility and handling is great for strafe shooting with a 120 hand cannon especially. I love it. Then you've got fourth times a charm and subsistence. I like fourth time for PVE purposes in conjunction with a perk in the second column that we'll get to later. Subsistence is only going to give you one bullet back after a kill, so I'd rather have two back after four shots personally. Then you've got Perfect Float, which boosts your airborne effectiveness and reduces incoming flinch when you're in combat. Not a bad perk. Envious Assassin, a new perk that overloads your magazine as you're getting kills with your other weapons. I'm not a fan of it in PvP, personally. Then, lastly, you've got a brand new perk called Keep Away. Now, this perk, this perk is nuts. It's going to be a new S-tier perk, I think. It increases your reload, range, and accuracy whenever enemies are basically outside of SMG range from you. Reload range and accuracy that's bonkers and when you craft the weapon you're going to get even more range accuracy and reload speed and that just happens anytime you're engaging enemies outside of your immediate vicinity which is basically every gunfight if they get closer you're probably switching to your fusion or your shoddy whatever it may be and yes this absolutely works in pvp by the way i saw some people saying it doesn't it does personally i think killing wind and keep away are your best bets here in this column Keep Away is going to offer a little less range than Killing Wind, but it'll be up all the time, while Killing Wind is only up for 5 seconds after a kill. Alright, let's move on to the second column. This one is ridiculous. First perk is Pugilist, good for melee builds, but not my pick for PvP. Then, you've got Elemental Capacitor. Now, a lot of the gameplay in the background is with LE Cap. This is a great pick for people who have a main subclass and like the benefits this perk offers for theirs. 
Solar gets big reload buffs to the gun. Art gets handling. Void gets big stability, which is awesome. Stasis gets recoil control and ADS strafe speeds. And Strand gets airborne effectiveness. Next, you've got Harmony, which is going to make some bow users literally pee their pants. Even fusion users, I think. Either way, if you get a kill with your other gun and then swap to the hand cannon, you'll now be doing 96 to the head for 7 seconds, which is usually a 2-tap for a Guardian. It's a good choice, no doubt. Next, you've got Golden Tricorn. This is a great choice, too. It's like Rampage that lasts for 7 seconds and gives us 15% buff to your damage. That's 92 damage to the head after your first kill, and some people are really going to like that. But it's also our first Tricorn Strand weapon, so do with that what you will. Next up is Kill Clip, an obvious winner for a lot of folks. Get a kill, reload, now you're doing 25% more damage for 5 seconds. That's 100 damage flat to the head. It's a no-brainer for some folks. Then you've got Opening Shot, which is obviously an S-tier perk on hard-hitting single-fire weapons. Some people are going to drool over that. And last, but definitely not least, we have a brand new perk called Hatchling. This one is pretty cool. I've tried it on other weapons, but it hasn't dropped on this hand cannon yet for me. But it makes it so that whenever you get a precision final blow, you're going to spawn a Threadling at the target's location. That Threadling is then going to look for a target and do 40 damage to them. If you're doing the math, that means that you can now two-tap that second player if that thing hits them. The enhanced version of this perk also gives you a plus five handling boost. Guys, this is such a cool perk. Then you consider like pairing it with something like Chromatic Fire. Hey, I'm getting a little excited just thinking about it, honestly. I can't wait to craft this thing. I'm definitely gonna go with Keep Away and Hatchling, and that's the role that I personally am after. But then there's one last thing to talk about, and that's the origin trait on this naughty girl. It's called Nanotech Tracer Rockets. It reads, landing multiple hits turns your next shot into a homing micro rocket. This is kind of wild, not gonna lie. After a few successful hits in rapid succession, this is going to proc in PvP. And it's kind of confusing as to what it actually does. You would think just from the description that it loads up a special shot from the gun that's going to be a rocket projectile. In actuality, you're still going to shoot the gun just like normal. You won't get a notification in your buffs either, so no text is going to be appearing telling you that it's happening. It's just going to happen. And when you take your normal shot, the gun is also going to fire off a green rocket simultaneously that will travel on its own and hunt down a target in the area that you were shooting at. When it detonates, it will deal damage twice. Basically, it's 15 damage a piece, so 30 total, although sometimes I do see 15, 14, and I don't exactly know why. But it's essentially 30 free damage that's just going to be going out on its own and doing its own thing. This actually synchronizes well with Hatchling. It's just constantly extra damage that you don't have to activate or control. It's just always in the background working on your behalf and damaging enemies that are engaging you. It's useful, it's helpful, it's pretty freaking cool. So there you have it, that's the round robin. What it is, what it can do, and where you can get it. Good luck on all your red border hunting out there, Guardians. I appreciate you, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or entertaining at all, hey, then please consider leaving a like on it and subscribe for additional Destiny 2 content. Be warm and well-fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible.